hello guys so welcome to KO tutorials so let's continue with the next part of this tutorial so let's get started so as you can see over here uh, we have almost done the car modeling over here we'll finalize it today over here so as you can see we have uh, gone through multiple things over here so let's go over here and let's just close this part so you can just double click over here or you can just select the border over here right click and let's cap it so once you cap it it's going to get uh, the face is going to get closed over here so you can just go into this front view and see over here how we can just close this area right click over here let's go into the cut over here and let's just draw a cut close the shape so whatever shape is required you can use it and wherever you want to close it you can easily just close the area like this so we can just make sure that we end the shape correctly so whenever you are doing such stuff so we have to use this so it should not be floating the vertices should not be floating as I told you earlier also that it has to end somewhere that's very important so again right click over here let's again take a cut and let's just end it in this way again take a cut and you can just end it somewhere select the polygons for the glass I'll be leaving some space over here so what I can do is we can just take some space for the glass like this and slightly I'll just go with inset over here very less <coughs> and slightly I'll just bevel it so beveling will be done a bit inside very less and let's click ok so you can just bevel it for your glass area so this this glass is going to be black over here so you can just assign a shading glass so I'll just go into the material over here so let's go into the material So I'll just give a dark shader. So I'll just go over here and let's just assign right now. So let's go into rendering, go into render setup and let's activate the V-Ray over here. So I'll activate this and let's assign a V-Ray material, I'll go into this, I'll just, if you want you can make the glass tint as black, you can slightly give a bit of glossiness, assign it over here. So as you can see I have assigned this in this way let's just close this just save your file 
also you need to give a bit of mesh smooth or turbo smooth over here to make it look much smoother so let's just assign a turbo smooth over here select this <clears throat> let's go over here now what we have over here is like we have a door handle so you can manage to model a door handle over here for that let's again go over here you can put one one swift loops over here slightly just drag this out slightly I can drag it in this way as required so let's select the polygons over here and slightly just bevel it so I can <coughs> easily bevel this area So slightly just push this up, select this, slightly shuffle it down, and let's put one swift loop over here. So I'll just ring it and let's give one connect slightly you can just shuffle it inside and also if you want I'm unable to put the loop because sometimes it is at some particular angle so at that moment it is a bit difficult so I can just take this in this way I'll select this polygons I'll slightly just extrude it down drag it over here drag it inside so you can just make it much straighter just drag it in so if you want you can uh, select this slightly shuffle this up select the vertices and just push this out this way. so this is how your handle is created so let's just save your file let's go over here and let's give a modifier called a symmetry modifier so let's just assign a symmetry modifier let's slightly just shuffle it correctly at the correct position like this so select this edges and drag it in this way so you can just uh, join this not join it just uh, bring it uh, much closer to it or else you can just first uh, scale this to make it more straighter so once you are done with this then this would be much easier to go with so as you can see I have done all of this 
and if you feel this is okay my work is done correctly <coughs> what i can do over here is like i'll again go over here hope i have not activated the nubs toggle so let's go into this and let's convert to editable poly now so once you convert this now your symmetry modifier is merged so let's right click and keep on welding this or you can even what you can do is you can bridge it if needed so it won't take much time so just select the center vertices and let's keep on <coughs> welding it so let's just weld it correctly like this so make sure you are going in the right direction okay correct so it's as you can see it's correctly matching from all the axis yes it's matching so how to take care of it that's matching correctly so again go over here again i'll weld it uh, weld this weld this all so first check it yeah it's weld so we need to weld this so let's just keep on welding this so weld is something like you merge the vertices because these are two different uh, entities or different objects so make sure you go and weld it first then the things which are left out we can do it later but this should be done after like you feel that nothing is to be done later okay so then you can go with this step so you can just weld it just weld it so you need to go with the steps very make sure you're not welding the back side vertices so which is going to create a problem so you can go into the wireframe view and check this out all right we have weld the whole thing and let's just give a nub toggle and see yeah looks good so we have got this on both the sides over here so again i'll select this and i'll come off this nub toggle so although we had duplicated this everything but unfortunately i guess the file couldn't save or something happened anyways uh, i'll just select this again just select this all and let's just mirror it copy it in x axis and let's just place it in the right way all right so guys if any doubts please put it in the comment section over here so just very few things are left which will be just covering it up in the coming tutorial so first again i'll uh, copy this make a duplicate of it so as you can see
so let's just not struggle and see this how it looks like all right so guys if any doubts please put it in the comment section over here so we'll continue the rest of the part in the comment tutorial so thanks for watching this tutorial